So here was my solution for sum, and I just want to show you one little thing that you could do in the middle of it that might make it a bit easier. Once you figure out its folder, and you have the template with the two sets of dots, because remember, folder is going to need two arguments in addition to the list. One thing you could do is go decorate those dots with their type. So since the signature of folder is y, list of x to y, and since we want to produce a number, that means y has to be a number. So that means first argument of folder, which is supposed to be a function x, y to y, let's see, x we know is number, y is number, so this first set of dots actually has to have that type. The second set of dots, the second argument to folder has to be a y. We know that's number now. So that second set of dots has to have type number. And that helps you when you go to fill in the dots. You know that the first set of dots needs to be a function with that signature. In this case, it's plus. You know that the second set of dots needs to be a number, in this case, zero. So that's a little thing you could do for these more complicated ones like folder, where there's multiple arguments, is you can kind of, once you've decided which function to use, then you know what types your x's and y's are, and you can decorate your template a little bit more with the types you need. Let me do this one last one, which is a little bit tricky. You don't have to follow it if you don't want to. Here's a funny one. I'm, I'm consuming a natural and producing a natural, and I'm trying to add up the first and natural numbers. Hmm. Well, that's natural to natural. And that doesn't match any of these. There's only one of them that consumes a natural, and it produces a list. That's build list. On the other hand, there are two of them that are willing to produce something other than a list, folder and foldl. Ignore foldl for now. Let's see, build list will go from a natural to a list, and folder will go from a list back to something else like a natural. So this is going to be templated as a composition of folder and build list. We need to do two things. We're going to folder with a function argument and some base case value and a list. Where are we going to get the list? We're going to get that from build list with a natural argument, in this case the original n, and some function. Now how do we fill them in? Well, build list already does produce the first n natural numbers. If we say build list n an identity, let me, let me save this template so you can look at it as we go. Comment out the stub, we'll comment out the template. If we say build list with n an identity, that's going to give us the first n natural numbers. Because if we call it with n equals 2, for example, we'll get 0 and 1, the first n natural numbers. So there's a list of the first n natural numbers. And now I need to add them up. Well, that's just the old sum function, plus and 0. So now you see why build list is there. Build list is there because it's often useful to produce the list argument to folder. This is a way of saying, let folder do something to a bunch of natural numbers. That's build list's role. And in fact, lots of languages have something like this. Python has something called range, which works exactly this way. So there's examples of using built-in abstract functions to simplify the final two stages of the function recipe the templating stage, and the coding the details of the body stage. The basic idea is 
first you get an idea of that, hey, this function is amenable to being coded as a call to a built-in abstract function. Then you figure out which built-in abstract function it is. Then you template that way, and then you work out the details. There's going to be a number of practice problems on this because this is a thing that really takes some practice. Remember, a perfectly viable way to do this is to first code the function the old-fashioned way. First code it out using the ordinary list template and fill it all in. And then, maybe once you've got that, think to yourself, well, which abstract function is that? You don't have to jump directly to the abstract function if that seems too hard. Remember the basic idea of the recipe. The basic idea of the recipe is always write down the easiest thing you know how to write next, and then go from there. So if the easiest thing you know how to write next is the old-fashioned template and filling it in, write that, and then go from there to the call to the built-in abstract function. If, on the other hand, you think you could figure out which built-in abstract function to use, go directly to templating a call to that and then filling in the details.